Welcome back, AE Eagles, to the 2022 New Year. I am Maddie Pitter. I am WAE's newscast anchor. How do we feel? Oh, we feel so good! How do you feel? I feel great. Did y'all have a good Christmas break? Sure did! Me too! And boy, was it a long two-week break. A lot of cleaning, a lot of cooking, and a whole lot of eating. Well, the whole crew is back. We have Tenley with the entertainment, Keegan with the sports, Joey with the message of the day, and special announcement, Ella with the weather, and Lily with the birthdays. Speaking of Lily, hi Lily. Hi Maddie, and thanks for that great introduction. Now on to yoga. Wait, what? Yoga? I mean birthdays. First up, Steph. Birthday. Happy birthday to on January 11th. It's Miss Dom's special day. Happy birthday. Now for student birthdays. Happy birthday to Layla P, Maggie P, Brooklyn C, Nathan K, Benjamin M, Thomas W, and Aaron G. Happy birthday and welcome to 2022. Thanks, Lily. That's a lot of birthdays. Now on to Tenley with the entertainment news. Hi, Maddie, and thanks. Yes. Hi, Tenley. It's Andersonville. Oh, wait. I mean, what's up, Andersonville? It's Tenley coming at you with the joke of the week. This week's joke is, well, I mean, I would tell you a joke about pizza, but it's a little too cheesy. Ha! Ha! <laughs> okay, okay. Just kidding. What happens to ice when it gets mad? We don't know. It has a meltdown. Ha ha ha! That's a knee slapper. This week's riddle is, one winter morning, Mr. Wilson saw a man in the middle of his front yard. The man stayed there for several weeks. Then the man disappeared. Who was this man? Good luck on that riddle. And be free to tell a friend if you figure it out. Back to Maddie. Thanks, Tenley, with the entertainment. Now on to Keegan with the sports. Thanks, Maddie. Hi, I'm Keegan Oliver with the sports. Let's have a big congratulations for MSU. <laughs> well, sadly, UFM lost against the Georgia Bulldogs. I thought the Lions were playing against the Georgia Bulldogs, not UFM. And the Lions are playing the Green Bay Packers at Fort Field at 1 p.m. On this, Sunday, on this Sunday. And Alabama versus Georgia Bulldogs are playing Monday, January 10th at 8 p.m. for the national championship. Bye. Thanks, Keegan, with the sports update. Now on to Ella with the weather. Thanks, Maddie. Hi, I'm Ella Jackson with the weather. Remember to dress warm, and here's the weather for the next seven days. Monday's high is 14, Tuesday's high is 16, and Wednesday's high is 35. Remember to dress warm with your snow pants, hat, scarf, and mittens. Have a good day. Thanks, Ella. It looks like it's going to be cold next week. Now on to Joey. Hi, welcome back, and thank you, Maddie, for the wonderful speech. I'm Joey. Before I get to the message of the day, I would like to announce the this year's fifth grade spelling bee contestants. In Miss Hargrave's class is Braylon Benitez, Sarah Kippola, Peyton Holler, Ada Kazar, and Gabriel Garden. And in Mr. Amick's class, Cecilia Conley, she is the overall top speller, Jake Koenig, Stephen Convert, Kivoris, Olivia Kippola, and Ivy Delangelo. These top 10 spellers will com complete, compete next Friday in the AE Spelling Bee. The winner will then move on to the Oakland County Spelling Bee. Now on to the message of the day, message of the week. Stay bright and keep the darkness away, even when the teacher is not watching. I hope you have a great and wonderful week. Bye and back to Maddie. Thanks, Joey. Well, that about wraps it up. Make sure to stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you in the next week.
Thank you.